There's news of a promising new treatment for the leading cause of blindness. Macular degeneration strikes many older Australians and there's no cure. But a new type of laser is being trialled and the early results show that it may help save a person's eyesight before it deteriorates. You can't see it happening, but researchers say this short burst of laser is working to slow vision loss. We do hope that if we uh, treat the early stages of macular degeneration that we will prevent progression, that will prevent vision loss later on. And at the moment there is no way of doing that. A pilot study targeting people with early signs of the disease is underway at the Victorian IND Hospital. I was having trouble driving at night. I was having trouble reading in a dim light. Twelve months after being treated with the laser, Glenis Mann says the change is noticeable. I've actually had to get new glasses because my sight has improved, so that's wonderful. The treatment delivers a nanosecond dose of energy into the eye. Researchers say it targets a very specific area, minimising damage that other lasers can cause. The light dots in this picture are waste deposits in an eye that cause the loss of sight. It's these that the laser targets. The laser affects cells, a very specific, special class of cells at the back of the eye that release a substance that dissolves the fat deposits that accumulate in those with macular degeneration. The treatment takes about 10 minutes and only needs to be done once. Patients say it's painless. In almost everybody, there has been some evidence of improvement, either in these little waste deposits going away, not only in the eye that's been treated, but in the other eye as well. Experts caution more research is needed. It is early days, but um, we've really got to take this as symbolic of the importance of investing in research. While the signs of slowing the disease are promising, researchers say it's too early to tell whether the treatment will stop people eventually going blind. Anita Savage, ABC News.